Good morning, everyone. Jeff and I are heading out to Sindeni today and then on to Menya, Menyamia, to drop off um, some building supplies for a school in Sindeni and picking up a couple people out at Menyamia. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys our new helicopter, brand new R66. I'll start training in the States this summer of 22. I'm really excited about it, but I wanted to show you guys first because I've been talking about it. And um, yeah, let me just quickly show you inside. So it is like brand spanking new. Got the really nice Garmin screens in here. I'm really excited about that. It's pretty small as you can see. And we still have quite a bit of work to do to get it put all together, but I'm really excited though about getting started on something new. Not that I don't like flying the Kodiak, but I'm really excited about starting some type of new training because I'm always trying to come up with something new and exciting. All right, let's get out of here. November Tango Zulu Quest Taxi sent Denny to POB. November Tango Zulu Taxi for runway 17 left, enter backtrack lineup, securing H1020, time check 11. 1020, enter backtrack and lineup 17 left, November Tango Zulu. just a 25 minute flight out to Sandini. This is Jeff's second time landing out there. So yeah, last time was with me about a month ago exactly, I think. So yeah, it's nice to be able to get back out to a class C because we haven't been doing that many. And then on to Minyami, which is a class B for us. I think Jeff's landed out there a handful of times or so. We'll see. Weather's good, no wind. So and it looks like we'll have nice clear skies on the way out there. Kirka Tower, November Tango Zulus ready for departure. No, I think it's a loop. One seven left, left turn, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, one seven left, left turn, November Tango Zulu. Their ITT are set. Their speed is increasing. Continue. This time of year is actually our rainy season. It's actually a really nice, beautiful day out today. It's been really crummy the past few days though. But this is very typical here where we have a low morning fog layer. Um, nice that we don't have to do an instrument approach to get out of here today. But yeah, this is extremely typical. We've got a 26 minute flight out to Sunday now. Circle Tower, November Tango Zulu, departed time 16, tracking 145. On climb, not above 9,000. Estimate Mirwaka, or uh, yeah, Mirwaka Gap 40. No, I'm telling you, Zulu, Roger, and request estimate Saint Denny. Estimating Saint Denny 45, November Tango Zulu. No, I'm telling you, Zulu, copy. Contact Mosby 120, zero decimal seven, seven second reach of 6622 at 15 miles. 15, contact Mosby 120, zero decimal seven or 6622, November Tango Zulu. All right, for my patrons, I'm actually tracking this flight here. So if, if, if you're a patron and you want to fly this exact same flight out to Sindeni and then on to Minyamia and do the same kind of mission that we're doing today, um, I'll leave that on my Patreon page. And if you're not a patron on my commercial tier, I post, I have like 70 or 75 flights missions that we have flown around here. And a lot of them have places like well, Sindeni and Minyamia you can actually download to add into Microsoft Flight Sim. And I think Minyamia is also in X-Plane 11 as well. What I'll do is I'll just screenshot this once we get out there and land. 
And also, if you guys are interested in seeing some on-the-ground content in places like Minyamia, Sandini, I've got a couple of videos on my Patreon page as well where I'm walking around a little bit more intensive than what we do on some of these normal ones because I'm usually in a hurry. But on the days where I had time, I walked around, threw the drone up, things like that to show you guys around and tell you a little bit about the community or something like that. Wow, 28 knots of crosswind at 8,000 feet. That's pretty strong for PNG. Up in cruise here, looking for 20, or 12.50 on the torque. Then we'll take a little closer look at our chart. Or send any. 436622, November Tango Zulu departure. November Tango Zulu. November Tango Zulu is 16 miles to the south of Garoka, maintaining 9,000. Estimating Sin Denny at 4 1. November Tango Zulu. And copy Mike Alpha Golf. November Tango Zulu, you can answer on the 08. Additional traffic to Mike Alpha Golf. 1008, November Tango Zulu. Oh, look at the winds now. It says 3 knots. We're not even 2 minutes ago, it said 30 knots. Now that's pretty crazy. That is wild. They'll probably pick right back up. That's really weird. It's probably, I don't know, in the shadow of Michael or something. Yeah, it must be. Yeah, we're going to be tracking for the uh, Mirawaka Gap. As soon as we get to the Mirawaka Gap, we're going to be reducing power, getting flaps 10, um, and then cutting for that little ridge. And we want to be down at circuit altitude at 63. And then we want to be turning base at 6,000 and then turn and final at 58, um, kind of over those trees at the end of the runway. Okay. Um, definitely going to be one monitoring the winds in the circuit as well as when, yeah, as we're getting down on short final, um, just going to give us an indication of kind of, yeah, just the conditions on final if we're going to be having downdrafts or not. Okay. Going to be aiming for the windsock um, for touchdown zone, and then, um, yeah, we'll get our, our V ref speeds here in a minute. Uh, we're coming across the runway at 63, um, at one or 0.9 cost track, we'll turn our downwind, uh, and then and then not going below 5,800 for turning final, turn final, and then just preemptively turn so that you're right over top of those trees, pretty much in line with the runway that's right across that, from the valley. That puts us right in line on our on our final. And then you're just pointing to the end of the runway and holding it there for a second and then letting your numbers establish themselves and then you're reading them off because with a big open valley like this, the tendency is just gonna wanna, you're gonna feel like, you, I need to go down okay. and then you're gonna get low and then you're gonna get flat and then your touchdown spot is just gonna go behind you because you're coming in flat and you're just gonna float further than you okay. want to. All right, so what do you see up there? Kind of stuffed up in the, well, there's the Mirawaka Gap, but I'm seeing some clouds. Um, the Narambi Gap's looking a lot more open. Okay. Uh, but it's, it seems like it's just kind of hanging on the ridges. Yeah. I think I'm going to continue for the Mirawaka Gap. Okay. Um, I'm seeing yeah, the, the major buildup is on the clouds. Uh, on the ridges. On the ridges, right? yeah. And then okay. I, I'm, I'm seeing more and more on the other side, so I'm, I'm very confident that we can continue for the Mirawaka Gap. All right, let's do it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and descend a little bit here. All stations, Mirawaka Gap, Kodiak November Tango Zulu is one zero miles to the south, or correction, the northwest. Um, 8,800 on descent, be passing through the Mirawaka Gap at 8,500. All station, Mirawaka Gap. Now, there looks like there's lots of space on the other side of the gap. It does. There's just kind of a, yeah, just a layer that's hanging out there. So I'm, I'm okay continuing through. Uh, heading on out to Benyamia that way we typically would go. Doesn't look like it might work very well that way. So we might have to go uh, the more westerly way. Which is fine. It's, it's not that far out of the way and we don't have to climb as much, so. All right, lots of space. Either side. All stations, Send Denny, 120.7, November Tango Zulu is in the circuit, Send Denny. Um, all stations, Send Denny. All right, so the, it's, it is coming up the valley as far as what the wind sock's saying. Okay, what do you think it's uh, showing? I'm saying like five knots right now. All right, so we're going to expect what? Uh, down, down drafts on final. 
Okay. So we're going to be ready to add power right. and ready to Turn pull power back out once once we've arrested it. Yep. All right. There's our six thousand. A turn. Down to 58. For the brown spot. All right. We have a pretty strong crosswind, so we're still go to the left a little bit, please. 500. We are coming up on our committal point. Committed. Looks like Jeff and I are gonna unload most of this stuff. Sounds like there's just a lot of sickness out here today. Probably Omicron that seems to be going around like absolute crazy. Half of our aviation team is not working today because of it. So um, yeah, we'll unload all of this. 790 kgs worth of stuff. Get started, back up, and get out of here. Sorry, we didn't we didn't even hear anything about I you. I didn't either. Like I would have parked exactly up there too, but uh, we had a bunch of ten that we were taking off. So that's why that. we were doing it. So yeah. November Tango Zulu Taxi. November Tango Zulu Taxi Sendeni Minyamia to Pubi. November Tango Zulu, no report of traffic. November Tango Zulu. All stations Sendeni 1207, November Tango Zulu Taxi Sendeni Minyamia will be on climb below 8,000. My camera stopped working on takeoff, I think. I don't really know. So I don't know where we are, at least on that. Let's zoom in on here and start looking at our gaps and what we might be able to head over there from. 
will at least give us an idea of what valleys we have and what valleys we can go up and down easiest. So what's your plan? What are you thinking? Uh, I think I might turn out this direction. Okay. It's looking pretty tight. Yep. Because you're also looking at the clouds, you're looking up through them. Through them, and my not. Clouds. I mean, the clouds are lower. If you see right here, yeah. they're lower than the top of those gaps yeah. over there. Also, we're going to have quite a bit of crosswind okay. coming across these gaps. So, myself, I'd want to make sure that I give myself enough margin. Margin, sure. Preferably of like three to four hundred feet, bare minimum, just so that. Who knows what the winds are going to do. It looks like the clouds are all kind of touching the ridges. Yeah. Now, yeah, let's go ahead and cut over here. Okay. We're gonna, if we go this way, I'm going to have to go all the way, well, either climb or go all the way around another ridge there. It's all right. Yeah, that just is looking really, really tight. I would agree. That's looking really tight. There's not very much room in there at all, especially for as we've got 18 knots of crosswind coming through here. Yeah, just for the so, bumps and the down wraps. And yep, I'd give ourselves as much margin as we feel comfortable with, and it looks like the clouds are rising, are rising yep, out yep. here. All right, so let's get it runway 33. How are we going to enter into the pattern? I'm going to go uh, I kind of uh, to the over 3-3 three, three, and then kind of turn around so I can get a good look and then come back on down one. Okay, sounds good. All stations, Benny on 120.7, November Tango Zulu is 11 miles uh, to the southwest of Benny. Currently 7,600, estimating circuit time at 5-5, uh, five, five, November Tango Zulu. Yeah, this lowering gap, I'll turn and okay. um, yeah. head down. Looks good. Oh, 33 knots from behind us. 34 knots. Wow. All right, so board point. Um, it's it's going to be um, kind of over that big hill. Increase power, flaps 20, pitching up to like 10 degrees, and then runway heading, and then we can turn out up the valley um, to the right. Here's all the bumps. <laughs> there, yeah, there's going to be a lot of crosswind on final. A lot of quartering, uh, tailwind, crosswind. <laughs> oh, what are we going to expect and what are we going to do? We're going to expect downdrafts, okay? And um, it's a really long runway. Okay. So I think I'm going to extend my, you know, where my touchdown point is so that I don't have to be so close to that, that uh, there's that ridge on final. Sure. Um, I don't want to have a downdrift right over top of that ridge and, you know, hit the trees there. Okay. What else would be something? I'm thinking uh, of something can, else that I would do. Instead of being at 64, why don't we just maintain 70 on final so it's a little that's, more stable? That's what I would do. Okay. I mean, this is like a 3,000 foot runway. Sure. We could land halfway down it, three quarters of the way down, track. and we'd still be fine. And then also, in pattern, things are going to be a lot different too. I've got a, I've got a crack for the crab. And it's going to be blowing you pretty hard. We've got 25 knots at pattern altitude nearly. Okay. And it's going to change a lot. The second we go right around this hill right here, it's probably going to drop off. And then the second we get basically at our committal area, that's when it's going to pick all back up again. Okay. Frisbee 6622, November Tango Zulu is in the circuit. Many yam yam, report after landing. November Tango Zulu, thanks. I'd be looking at my winds right here. We've got 20 sure. knots right as we're going to be turning our base. That's, yeah, we'll be tracking base here and then over across those trees. I don't think there is a windsock that that works. Uh, we know which way it's coming, so. Yeah, it's coming this way. <laughs> It'll be all crosswind. And, uh, yeah, quartering tailwind. That's going to be pretty strong, so. Um, 10 degrees in. We've got turn 20 in, turn to uh, base. 144 as we're getting across the ridge and then cutting in above those trees and then turn and final. So 100 feet high, keep our descent coming in. I want 80 knots. That's our 4200, looking good.
very nice. Hornsby, 6622, November Tango Zulu's on the ground, Minyamia, cancel start. And the Tango Zulu, Minyamia, start. November Tango Zulu, thanks. All right, well, everyone, I hope you guys enjoy just a little bit different, just kind of a bouncing around. This is a little more of what we do every day, kind of bounce, bounce, bounce. We're going back to Garoka, then Brad and I are heading out to Medanga back, so it's 10 in the morning, so this is still only a portion of my day. But I hope you guys did enjoy it. Give it a video, a thumbs up, and for Jeff, this is, yeah, this is a difficult environment to fly in, and it's, it's easy to look at from a video perspective and look, oh man, I could do that, but it is a lot different when you have a lot of elements to think about all at once. So thanks again. Like I said, if you're interested in flying this route or seeing some more on the ground content, check out the link down below and see you guys next time.